Jonathan Armstrong, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N-A-R-M-S-T-O-R-N-G. All right, Jonathan, first and foremost, can I get a recap of last season just in your eyes? Last season was a growing point from the season before. We started off good, and we just kept progressively getting better. We just need to work on some conditioning, get better that way so we can go four quarters all the way through without taking a break in between plays. But it was definitely a growing point, and I'm hoping this year will grow off of that year. Good deal. And I know it's tough. I'll have you try to keep this as stiff as possible just because so, every time you move it around, okay. it picks up the noise. So maybe looking more into your game, where did you see yourself improve the most from last year to now? I think footwork and I'm getting faster off the ball. And knowing like the plays, that's a big help. And having speed more than like because a lot of the big men on the line, they'll sometimes be bigger than me, but if I have speed, then I can get to them faster and I can get the leverage on them. And that's what really helps me. You have a lot of guys returning on this offense this year. What excites you about this offense? Well, it excites me because they're getting faster too. Got some pretty fast people on our team. And there's a lot of seniors and they've been my family since day one. And it's just gonna be a fun time. What about the guy under center, Cameron? You know, what can you say about that guy? Well, he's also been part of the family for a while, and I think he'll, he plays a big role in our team, and he, w he will do good this year. I already know it. He's better than last year. There you go. So, yeah, we're going to see where it goes. Now, uh, on the offensive line, you have some veteran players returning there, too. How much do they help what you do on the field? Oh, they help me tremendously, because if it wasn't for the whole offensive line, doing everything all in one as one motion then there wouldn't be an offensive line there would just be a couple people out there doing what they want we need to stay on our alignments we talk out on the line and everybody gets their um on their track and going love that about them good deal good deal what is it going to take to get fremont back to or to a place where you want them to be by the end of the year we need our mindset correct. We need to come out every practice hollering and hooting. And we got to get everything going at 100%, 24-7. We can't take plays off. We got to push. We got to we got to go even harder than we did last year if we want a better season this year. How nice is it to have Coach back this year? It's nice. We all missed him last year, but I know Herndon, Coach Herndon, he did a pretty good job. But we're all excited to have Homer back. Good deal. What, um, what about this Fremont team this year really excites you, gets you going? Well, I think the excitement's there more. We're coming out here at the beginning of practice. We're getting engaged. We're getting going. Uh, last season wasn't quite much of that, but this season it's been more of that. We've been more energetic. We've, been, we've just been more into it. And what's been the change in the energy from last year to this year? Uh, we want to win. We want to win. That's one of the main points. And with these younger coaches that we have right now, they're helping with the energy too. So it's just putting a big role in our season up ahead. Good deal. Now as a senior, what is this season going to mean to you? It's going to mean everything. I want to do my hardest that I can do. I want to put in 100% and I want to get better. And I want to have a winning season this year. Oh, week one is right around the corner. What excites you about the 2020 season? What excites me? <laughs> Playing in the game, I hope we have a complete season of every game possible that we can have. And I want to hit some people and I want to see where it goes. Now, are you just on the offensive side or do you play both ways? I play defensive too. Okay. I'm a defensive end. Defensive end. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the defenses exciting you this year? Well, we got the linebackers that are hitting pretty well this year. And we have some new people on the line, like defensive line. And that's going to excite me a little bit new faces on there. We're still trying to figure out some people for defense, but I think we've got a pretty good idea right now. And everybody's just making tackles when we go Team D, and it's just exciting me. I think last question I have for you is, what is a good goal for Fremont this year? Have a winning season. Make sure our attitude stays 100%. If we lose our attitude during the game after a touchdown, that's not going to be good. we got to keep the attitude. we got to go 100%. If we go 100%, probably have a winning season this year. Good deal. Anything else you want to add? 
No. Q M M E R. Good deal. And then we can just look at each other through the interview. Okay. So first and foremost, I'll kind of get a recap of last season just from your eyes. Well, you know, um, last year was uh, a little bit of a turnaround year for us. Um, four and six. Um, we had two or three games where we were very competitive in, had opportunities to win. Um, so really one of the better seasons that we've had here at Fremont in a long time. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we're, we would have liked to have had a couple more wins, but in the sense of the competitiveness of the team and uh, the victories that we did get, um, you know, we, we, we felt pretty good about the team's effort. Um, it was a difficult year uh, for, the, for the program. Uh, my wife went through a, a medical condition that uh, put me on the sideline for a while, and uh, Coach Herndon and the rest of the coaching staff took over during that time, and uh, the players really stepped up and did a great job, and uh, uh, very, very proud of the team and the program uh, during the adversity that we faced last year. Now, obviously, you know, family absolutely comes first, but how good does it feel to be back on the field with your guys this year? Oh, it's just awesome. Uh, you know, I, I love coaching. Uh, you know, it's not as much fun this year with all the concerns with the COVID-19 uh, and uh, all the precautions we have to take, but it uh, it is great to see the guys back on the field and uh, be around the players, be around the coaches, and, uh, uh, you know, it, just, it, it, it is a great feeling. Now, for viewers who aren't familiar with the, with the program, who are some returning players this year that people should be watching out for? Well, I think from a skilled standpoint, um, quarterback Cameron Cole Clazier has been a starting quarterback since his freshman year. Uh, he's our, our big playmaker with um, the run and the pass. And then uh, at running backs, we have Dylan Parsons and Carson Flynn. Um, at receivers, we have uh, Jaden Zuccolato and Logan Brace back. So, um, we, and they were all seniors. So, uh, except for Logan Brace, the junior. But uh, so not only do we have a lot of returning starters, but we have a lot of uh, seniors that are, are in key positions for us uh, offensively. Uh, we also return a, a experienced offensive line with uh, John Armstrong, R.J. Dillbone, Drew Brosey, uh, who have also been starters since their freshman year. So pretty excited about the offensive side of the ball. Good deal. What excites you about the defensive side? The defense, um, I think it's, uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit undersized, uh, but we have a lot of team speed. Um, and we have good strength, even though we're, we're not as big. I mean, our, our strength per pound is good, and um, we um, have a lot of uh, exciting defensive backs and linebackers. We're still trying to figure out uh, the starting D-line at this point, but um, we're uh, excited about the team overall team speed that we have on defense. What did you, you know, from a coaching standpoint, watching last season, what did you take from that year and, and want to apply it to this year maybe as like a learning experience? Well, I think... Um, you know, we were able to finally get our offense opened up last year, but I, but also when we got into the stiffer competition, um, they were able to uh, shut down some of the things that we like to do. So I think we've tried to we're trying to expand our offense, uh, trying to add more option plays, uh, and also trying to improve our passing game, uh, which will hopefully uh, be able to open up our offense even more. And then defensively, we we just have to. Uh, continue to try to be better against the run, especially against teams that uh, are big and physical up front, and uh, not give up the big play uh, in the secondary. Good deal. Now, I was reading somewhere, your dad's part of the Indiana Hall of Fame, right? That's correct. Good deal. Yeah. So, you know, maybe from a coaching standpoint, what have you learned from your dad that you're applying to this program? Well, I mean, you know, obviously just being uh, the father figure, but also being uh, a head coach and being my head coach when I was a player and uh, seeing how he ran programs. And, you know, a lot of it just um, attention to detail, uh, a dedication to what you're doing um, and, um, you know, trying to keep things simple and do a few things very, very well. Good deal. And I'm sure some of that translates over into how you know what is it going to take to get your program where they where you want it to be by the end of this year well i think one is we have to stay healthy we don't have a lot of guys um so if we had some key injuries that would make it very difficult for us to have that success so one thing is stay healthy but uh two is um i think just uh continue to build on uh, our strengths and then really try to improve on our weaknesses as we go week by week this season good deal good deal and then what is something that other teams should watch out for with you guys this year? <laughs> well, I, I do think we have a, a different attitude. Um, I think in years past, uh, you know, the expectations weren't that high, and I think a lot of times our kids had a, lot, a lack of confidence. And I, I think this year our expectations are high that we, we are going to be successful. We are going to compete for a conference championship. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that 
some of the teams have ever faced a Fremont team like that, that has that confidence to say, you know, we're going to go into this game and, and not only are we going to compete, but we're going to win. Good deal. Anything else you want to add, Coach? Uh, just thanks to the, the players and the coaching staff and, and uh, our athletic director, Roger Probst. Uh, you know, this has been a difficult time for football and uh, sports in general. And uh, to be able to be out here uh, under the concerns that people have, uh, it, it's a great job by our players and our staff of uh, following all the guidelines and, and getting ourselves back to play. Sounds good, Coach. Thank you so much. Okay, I am Cameron Colclasier, K-A-M-E-R-O-N-C-O-L-C-L-A-S-U-R-E. Good deal. And then through this interview, you, you just look at me. So first and foremost, Cameron, can I get a recap of last season out of your eyes? Last season was probably our best season ever since probably ever since Hummer came here, which was like eight years ago, I think. And we finished five and no four. It was five and six, I think. Either five and six or four and five. But I feel like I wasn't there for our last game. But I feel like we would have had a better chance of winning if I was there. And why weren't you there? I had a wedding. It was my brother's wedding. Gotcha. Gotcha. Family comes over. Yeah. Oh, I get that. <laughs> uh, now, also, Hummer wasn't there last season. You know, just as a player on this team, what was the mood? What was the mindset having him gone last year? It was different, that's for sure, since Hernan had to step up and become our pretty much our head coach and defensive coordinator. But Hummer still helped out a crap ton because he was still at home in the hospital, staying up till like 2 a.m., watching film, giving us feedback on what we can do and do better. Wow. And everything like that. That's dedication. Yes, it is. Okay, but on the flip side of that, how nice is it to have him back this year? It is pretty nice since he's like, since he'll give us like most of his attention now. I mean, yeah, his wife is still like struggling and getting better, but yeah, he'll make a big, bigger difference this year. Good deal. And just one last question with him. I mean, it seems like a pretty small, tightly knit community. How much was it players being, you know, coach is always there for his players. How much of it last year was co players being there for coach? It was pretty good because when his wife first got into the field, or not in the field, in the hospital, um, we like all got together, made cards, everything like that, went there, gave her the cards, and then just everybody was here giving him support, and whenever he could be here, he could be here. Good deal. Now, looking back at last season to now, where have you seen your game improve the most? My game, I feel like reading the defense better, seeing the ball or seeing the defense spread out, and just the game is slowing down for me. You've been you've been on this varsity squad under center since your freshman year. Now, as a senior, looking back to where you were then to where you are now, how have you grown as a player? I would say I'm more of a leader because my freshman year I was a little shy freshman and was like I don't know if I can tell people what to do but now I can like take charge, tell people that what they're doing wrong or what they're doing right and just correct what they can do better. What do you like about this offense this year? We're, we're more aggressive. Like our running backs are running so much harder this year. Our wide receivers can catch the ball and like they're taller so we have bigger people but it just, we're mostly upperclassmen this year, so I feel like we can do damage this year. Good deal. We'll, we'll kind of break it down a little bit. First, starting with the running backs, what do you like out of those running backs? Well, they're both pretty close, like they're in my grade and everything like that, but they're both like pretty big size and they run the ball hard. We have a guy that can go up the gut, and then we have a guy that can go in open space and make things happen. And who's who? Which one can go up the gut and which one? Can... Uh, Dylan Parsons, the 36, I think. He can go up the gut pretty good. And then Carson Flynn, he's a good shifty guy. He can make space and out. Good deal. Now now flipping switch onto the offensive line. I mean, they're blocking for you. They're blocking for the running backs. You have a veteran line returning this year. What can you say about those guys? Just, I want them to, I mean, they were good last year. I just want them to take another step up. I know, I, I believe in them. They can do it. Good deal. Good deal. What is it going to take to get this program back to where you guys want it to be by the end of this year? I just feel like because we have very intense coaches right now, if they keep it up, keep it on us, then by the end of the season we'll be a well, I feel like a well above 500 this year. What's a goal for this team this year? I feel like, I mean, a goal is to, I would say, go above 500, but I feel like we can at least go like 7-2 and two or 6-3, or three, which is pretty well our best record since a while. Good deal, good deal. What's it going to take to, to get that record? Just everyone has to keep giving their all at practices in the weight room and our conditioning, just everything like that at practices especially, just 100%.
what is this senior year going to mean to you? If we have it, I it's going to mean everything. Like it's my last year in football. Um, just our home fan, our home like games are will be different, but I hope they'll stay the same. You know, very soon we're going to be starting this season. Week one is right around the corner. What excites you about the 2020 season? I, it just excites me because like. Um, yeah, you can think about this. This is all pre-recorded. <laughs> I'm just excited pretty much for, like, I don't know, it's my senior season, my last season. I can give it my all, everything like that. Um, I don't have anything holding me back this year, like concussions, like anything like that. No, I don't worry, have to worry about that. Um, just this is my last year season, so i got to pull out and do what I can do. Good deal, good deal. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Is there anything you want to add? I don't think so. I think that's all. Dylan Parsons. Cool. And then Dylan, um, if you can bring that mic down just a tad. Perfect. Right there, we'll kind of have you hold it like this. Okay. All right, Dylan. So first and foremost, I mean, can I get a recap of last season just in your eyes? Uh, it was very – we could have done a lot better, for sure. Could have done a lot better. Um, we just had to execute a lot better and – just just go hard 100% all the time, which we didn't, not a lot. We went, I'd say about 80% most of the time. We just need to get into that third gear. You know, not having coached last season, comes back this year, how nice is it having him back with the team? It's really good. It makes it more family, you know. But, yeah, it just, it just makes it feel, it's, it's just like home now. Good deal, good deal. What is it going to take to, you know, improve on last season what are you wanting to adjust from last season overall as a team to, to get better this year just all in all everybody needs to do the job everybody needs to execute their their jobs um, just hard 100 percent where have you seen your game improve the most in a year um, definitely instead of running north and south not east and west <laughs> but yeah all right all right so you know how, I mean, you, you, you've been starting since your freshman year, mm -hmm. right? So from freshman year to now, how have you seen yourself grow as a player on this team? Uh, usually, well, freshman year I was just, they threw me in when, you know, one of the stars got injured or something. But now I'm both running both ways on kick return, punt return, kick off, everything. Yeah, so... Um, you know, if you're off your offensive line, correct? What? Are you offensive lineman? No, running back. You're running back. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, <laughs> sorry about that. So, as a running back, where where do you see this offense improving from last year? Um, our offensive line is going to be a lot better this year. A lot. They're executing right now. They're doing pretty well in practice, but. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they use that in the game. Now, I'm sure, do you see yourself more as like a, a, a punch it up the gut type of running back? Yeah. All right. So, at, with that type of running back, how do you think you can apply what you do to helping out this team? Just trying to get six yards every play, and if I can get more, then I get more. Good deal. Good deal. What is it going to take to get this team? where you want them to be by the end of the year? Um, we just got to just all day got to practice, got to work hard in the weight room. When it comes to, we, we lift right now, we lift before practice and then we go out to practice and sometimes we're slow but we just got to fight through it. We got to keep going, keep, keep being motivated and just go 100%. As a, as a, one of the seniors on this team, you're, that's a position in itself. What do you what what do you see that position as? Um, just trying to get my freshmen, and sophomores, like the running backs and linebackers, up to up to what us varsity kids do. And what is that level? Just making sure we know, like as a linebacker, just making sure we know how to flow with the linemen and. Read, pass, read, run. Um, as running backs, just 
make sure, make sure your hips are square to the line. Uh, running north and south, like I said. Um, get extra yards. I mean, not going 100% through the line. Can't can't uh, get hit and then go right back down. You got to keep going. Good deal. Now on the on the defensive side, what do you like about this team? Um, we're really quick. We're, we got a quick defense. Um, our our technique as tackling is pretty good, and uh, we know we know how to read pretty good the offensive line. Good deal. Good deal. And then kind of on the flip side of that, what what makes you excited about this offense? The offense. Um, we're just we're all skill players. We've all been together. It's our senior class basically. Um, we've been together since middle school. Just can't wait. Let's talk about the guy under center for you. What do you like out of his game, and where have you seen him improve the most growing up with him? Talking about Cameron? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's all around good player. Every sport. Um, he he makes plays. Um, he fight. He fights. If he, if he's getting tackled, he makes sure that he rolls off it, gets extra yards. He's he's just all around good player. How does he, maybe he complement your game? Um, we just, you know, we we're we're pretty good friends. We we both give each other, you know, uh, high fives and you know body bumps and all that stuff. But well, yeah. I, I meant more like how does you know what he does on the field? How does it make 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 your job easier? Um, or help with your job? Maybe not easier. Hey, Kelly, when um, like. He's he's really good at reading the like if there's a deep defensive end or an outside linebacker that's coming up, he's make, he's making sure that I'm not getting blown up by that guy, so he pulls it or he just makes sure he's he's he makes sure that um, I have a good setup to run. Good deal. Now to get um, right around the corner is is the start of the season, hmm. and even sooner than that is is week one. What makes you excited about the 2020 season? Uh, it's just my senior year, dude. We're, I, I think we're gonna be better than what we have a, for uh, past. Their, our coach is saying that we're gonna be better than we have past 20 years. Uh, we're gonna be better. Hopefully, we're gonna be better this year than we were last year. Um, I believe we can go over 500. Why has coach been saying that you guys are gonna be the best team in 20 years? Like, what makes him say that? He just has seen our skills since we we're younger and. Um, Working from last year, and we basically got most of the same players back, and he just knows how hard we're working. Good deal, good deal. Yeah, you know, as a senior, how important is this final season to you? It's football season, man. It's my favorite sport. I just want to, I just want to make sure that we still have the season, and I just want to go 100 percent every single game, every single play. Good deal. Anything else you want to add? Um, nah. <laughs> All right. All right.